The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Today's broadcast. The last four applications against Azerbaijan in 2023 applied to the European Court by President Armenia Gabrahaman were accepted. Gagi Ginesian brought Armenian dance to Artsakh. Georgia is ready to be a platform for negotiations for Armenia and Azerbaijan. Darshi Ashvidi. French press condemns Baku dictatorship. We in our place names. Repository of dishes. The last four applications against Azerbaijan in 2023 applied to the European Court by President Armenia Gabriel and were accepted. The chairman of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenia Gabriel once again appealed to the European Court of Human Rights for the crimes against humanity committed against the indigenous Armenian population in Artsakh in September 2023. The European Court of Human Rights accepted and satisfied the applications appealed by the President Armenia Gabriel it is worth mentioning that during a year, the applications submitted to the European Court of Human Rights can only 5% of which are accepted, and the applications related to the damages caused to the massively displaced families in Artsakh are among those 5%. Mr. Armen Gabrahamian, during his presidency in 2022, has already submitted the application to the European Court of about 40 forcibly displaced people from Shushi. The trials are still ongoing. The circumstances that took place in Artsakh in 2023 can be described as genocide against Armenians of Artsakh. The UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People states Article 3. Indigenous people have a right to self-determination. By virtue of this right, they freely shall assert their political status and freely pursue their economic, social, and cultural development. Article 4. Indigenous people, in exercising their right to self-determination, have a right to autonomy or self-government regarding to their internal and local affairs, as well as have a right to have the way and means of financing their autonomous functions. Article 5. Indigenous peoples have a right to maintain and strengthen their distinct political, legal, economic, social, and cultural institutions while maintaining their right, if they wish so, to fully participate in the political, economic, social, and cultural life of the state. Naini Agbalian, the former Minister of Artsakh, remembers when she was the Minister of Culture in Artsakh, they made joint project with Gagi Ginoisan. Due to her, they brought Armenian dance to Artsakh. Gagi Ginoisan was a soldier and was one of the guardians of Armenian identity, she mentions. And she expressed confidence that um, his legacy will be more appreciated and valued by our generation. Two days ago, Gagi Ginoisan, the founder and artistic director of the Korean tradition song and dance group, an honored figure of Armenian culture and a participant in the Artsakh war, died of a heart attack. He was buried in the pantheon of the Yarablur. A candidate of Georgian Foreign Minister Ilya Darchiashvili stated that Parliament Tbilisi is ready to be a platform for negotiations between Yerevan and Baku. Georgian service of Sputnik Agency quoted Darchiashvili's words. In terms of promoting peace and stability in the region, Georgia has taken an important step with the launch of the Peaceful Neighborhood Initiative. We are ready to continue our participation in this direction in accordance with the needs of our neighboring countries. We plan that Tbilisi will become a place for our neighbors in the future where they will be able to discuss current issues that will contribute to the formation of trust between the countries, said Tarciashvili. During his speech in the parliament, the ministerial candidate also noted that the leadership of Georgia has taken important steps to promote peace and stability in the region so that Tbilisi becomes a platform for negotiation between Armenia and Baku. The government of Georgia, under the leadership of the new prime minister, Irakli Gobagidze, also intends to continue the work in the direction of increasing the role of the South Caucasus on the world stage. He emphasized that despite of the difficult situation in the region, Georgia continued its balanced policy and repeatedly contributed to the communication between Armenia and Baku. Darchiashvili expressed uh, his belief that in order to establish peace and stability in South Caucasus, Georgia intends to maintain and deepen bilateral strategic relations between Turkey, Baku, and Yerevan. At the end of 2021, the Prime Minister of Georgia, Rakhli Karibashvili, initiated the Peaceful Neighborhood Initiative and offered Baku and Yerevan to create a regional platform for informal dialogue between the parties. In July 22, the meeting took place in Tbilisi between the foreign ministers of Armenia and Baku. 
On the occasion of the presidential election in Baku, which will most likely give President Aliyev an opportunity to rule for seven years, the French press referred to the violation of the rights of people in that country and their rights against Armenia. In Figaro magazine, Jean Christopher Poison paints a portrait of the tyrannian of Baku, who has ruled Baku since 2003 after succeeding his father Haider. Pueso condemns his increasingly fierce anti-Armenian speech, which raises fears to new acts of genocide. France presents the international investigation coordinated by Forbidden Stories, which explains the dark activities of a gold mine operated by a company linked to the Aliyev family. The reporter also condemns the torture of political prisoners and journalists critical of the regime. France 24th Yerevan correspondent Helen Unchan explains what will change for Armenia starting from February 1st with the membership of the International Criminal Court. The journalist emphasizes that Armenia does hope to have additional protection against its Azerbaijan neighbor, which refuses to recognize the jurisdiction of that court. In Lepon, Guilaum Perrier discusses Baku's strategy to destabilize France, accusing periods of colonialism and favoring Armenia. Pierre reminds that Aliyev used this rhetoric before the especially during in the 2022 during Artsakh war. This article showed that vigilance of the French press towards the situation in democracy poor Baku, a country that seeks to expand its influence in the region to the detriment of Armenia and its allies. In the Armenian highlands, one of the sources of the West Yaprat River, which floats through the area north of the city of Karin and is called the Khmerite water, Turks renamed it to Dumlusu. According to the preserved tradition, the stream got its name Khmerite water from the Christ church brought by the Byzantine Emperor, Heracles and hidden here from the place of which this water miraculously flowed. Many historians and researchers wrote about Khachapite. Alishan writes that they hid the cross in the basin and then placed it to Constantinople. Jacob Carnesi writes that Cross River originated from the Tumli Mountain in the north of Garin City and is also called by the same name. This rivulet gave rise to Lake Khmerite, which was also called the source of the Holy Cross, which they also renamed Dumlu or Dumli Bunar. Dumlu means cold, Bunar means spring. And so the Turks changed the names of several geographical objects with one word Dumlu at once, eliminating the names of several geographical objects that are harmonious and meaningful to Armenia. In the Intangible Cultural Heritage of the Republic of Armenia database, a new subsection has been added under the title Dishes database, which was complete as a result of the preliminary inventory of dishes in the communities of Armenia. 160 beneficiaries of 40 settlements, 20 villages and south cities of 50 communities of 10 marches of Eastern Armenia participated in the process. State and non-governmental organizations participated in the inventory. The purpose of the inventory was to collect currently viable national dishes in the communities of Armenia, not only to ensure the preservation and transmission of this form of heritage, but also the viability, dissemination, and popularization. It will also contribute to the economic progress and sustainability of gastro tourism and communities. In order to ensure the effectiveness of the process, the dishes database will be continuously updated with new elements and videos about dishes, contributing to public awareness, preservation and use of national dishes. This was all for today. Goodbye.